Hey everyone, this is Broomster, and this is number 77 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a Renban Arrow problem submitted by Wushul, and this has been rated as a hard problem by testers. So the way this one works, and I'm sorry that the arrows and the Renbans overlap, so it's hard to see, but I think we've made it as visible as possible, is um, the Renbans must contain a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. What that means is if you were to take the digits off um, that uh, would end up on the line off and sort them. They would be a consecutive run of digits. You cannot have any gaps and you cannot repeat digits. And on the arrows, the digits that are placed on the arrow will, must sum to the digit in that arrow circle. Um, the digit that you have to figure out in this puzzle is the digit in the cell with an X. Um, and that's the only digit that you need to figure out. Um, there is a link below to where you can get this problem. Um, so you can try it out for yourself. Um, I, I will wait for a couple of seconds so you can pause the video, give this one a try, and then um, I will be back to explain how this one works. Okay, this is quite a tricky one. Um, it took me a while to figure this one out for myself, I'll tell you that one. So the important trick to this one, and you can see it on this line, is that these arrows are actually quite restrictive. Now, these are this is a seven cell long ren ban. So it must either contain the digits one through seven, two through eight, or three through nine. Now, what happens, and the big question is, can it contain the digits three through nine? And the answer is it can't, because if these contain the digits three through nine, what are you going to put on these arrows? Because the minimum digits you could put on those arrows, if it's three through nine, is three, four, five, and six, because you don't have one and two available because you've made this arrow, this Renban line, have a nine on it. So three, four, five, and six, if you add them together, five and six is uh, 11, three and four is seven, add those together, you get 18. And these two cells, these two arrows would have to sum to 18, which would mean double nine. And you can't do that. So this cannot have a nine on this Renban line. You cannot do it. Now, that's important to remember. Now we need to look at this Renban line. Now, this Renban line looks like it's different because it's not straight. But because you can't repeat digits on a Renban line, it's exactly the same. They may as well all be in the same column. If you were to put um, a 9 on this Renban line, then the minimum digits you could put on these arrows would be 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is 18, and you would have to put two 9s in those arrows, which is doable by Sudoku, but you'd then be repeating the 9s in this, um, on the Renban line, which is not doable. So you can't do that. So you can never put 9 on any of these Renban lines. So the 9 has to go here in box 2. And because you can't put 9 on a Ramban line, then you can't put 9 here, you can't put 9 on any of the Ramban lines, and this has to be a 9, which is the solution to the problem. Please ignore the timer, I've had this one loaded on my computer for ages. Um, that's the solution to this problem. And it took a while for me to see this one, and several of the testers reported the same thing. Very interesting interaction between the Ramban and the arrows, and I think a few people may, some people may turn around and say, saw it instantly. Others may come back and go, huh. So we'll see what the comments on this one are like. I really like this problem. It is definitely made me think. And that's the whole point of the series. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you enjoyed this one in particular. Thank you, Wushu, for submitting it. And as always, good luck with your solving.